Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install X-Ray in Minecraft 1.15.2 without any mods. This is going to be simple, it's going to be easy, you don't need to download Forge or install any mods, you don't need anything complicated really. You're going to download one file and that's it, that's all you need. You don't even need Java necessarily to do this. If you can open up Minecraft, you can install X-Ray using the methods that we're going to be using in this video. First and most though, we do have some more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Many servers don't allow you to use X-Ray on them. If you get caught using X-Ray, you will be banned, including our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So you, you, you want to make sure that you're, you know, not using this on a server unless it's your own server. You see, you can start your own server with Apex Minecraft Hosting, first link down below, and be able to use X-Ray all you want, because you're going to be the owner of the server. It's going to be hosted on Apex Minecraft Hosting. You're going to join off of an IP address they give you, and you can add mods to that server. You can add plugins to that server. You can do anything you want to it, but you can also use X-Ray on that server with no consequences, because unless you ban yourself from your own server, you don't have to worry about X-Ray. We actually use X-Ray to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, so if you want an incredible 24-hour DDoS strike to Minecraft server, then nobody's going to care that you're using X-Ray on, except maybe your friends. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.x YZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. I think I said that about Apex. Apex is the first link down below. X-Ray, this right here, X-Ray Ultimate, is the second link down below. And X-Ray Ultimate is actually a resource pack, right? It is an X-Ray resource pack for Minecraft. Now, it is recommended that Optifine is installed with X-Ray Ultimate. We're going to be having it installed with X-Ray Ultimate in this video, but I'm not going to be going over how to install Optifine. Luckily, we do have an in-depth tutorial, which you can find linked in the description down below. It is right here. This is our in-depth guide on downloading and installing Optifine for Minecraft 1.15.2. It goes over everything. Again, I'm going to have it already installed here, but this, it, it truly does cover everything. You need to know with getting Optifine, not only does it cover it in the video, but we had the text tutorial as well, and that will definitely get, help you get Optifine. We've had over 1.5 million people use this article in our videos to get Optifine. So awesome stuff there. Go get Optifine, and then you'll be good to go. It is not required, right? You don't have to have Optifine. It just makes things brighter and look better and easier to see, right? If you want things to be as bright as it is back here, for example, you will need Optifine in order to do that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead, scroll down once you're on this page, the second link down below, X-Ray Ultimate. Once you're on this page, scroll down, and this is actually a text tutorial to install X-Ray Ultimate. It's pretty simple, but I'm going to be going over all of this in this video. If for whatever reason I feel like I go too fast or want to see it in a step more clear step-by-step -step process, this is going to be where you can get that on our website. Now, this, once you're here, click on this yellow Download X-Ray Ultimate button. That's going to take us off to X-Ray Ultimate's official download page where we want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and then we will have 1.15, Minecraft 1.15 there. And then under that, we will see X-Ray Ultimate, and then it'll have 1.15 in the version title there as well. Once you have that, click on that purple download button to the right of it, and it will go ahead and take us off to where the download will begin in six seconds. It's already down to two seconds, one second, and boom, now our download will begin in the bottom left. Now on Google Chrome, you shouldn't need to keep this file, but on Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save the file in the center of your screen. It is safe to do so as long as it has X-Ray in the title. Ours does down there, as you can see, so we're gonna go. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on my desktop, I have X-Ray Ultimate. Now, if this isn't on your desktop, no worries, it's going to be in your downloads folder. And to find that, click on the little Windows icon, it's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, and then have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and then take X-Ray Ultimate from the Downloads folder here, and drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once this is on your desktop, we can go ahead and get it installed. This is actually pretty easy. All you want to do is open up Minecraft. Now, as I said, this is recommended to be used with Optifine, so we're going to be clicking on this little drop down here and selecting Optifine. If you don't have Optifine, that's fine. You can install this in vanilla Minecraft, but you can get Optifine in the description down below. So if we go ahead and click play, it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now, I do want to say this installation process is the exact same with or without Optifine. So if you opt to have X-Ray with no Optifine, guess what? It's going to work the exact same way in game as far as installation and even showing up like with ores and stuff. It's going to work the exact same way. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and once we're here, we just want to click on this Options tab. When we click on that, we're going to have this Resource Packs tab. Click on that, and I have a bunch of resource packs in here. You might not have any, but that's fine. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on this Open Resource Pack button in the bottom left. That's going to open up the Resource Packs folder here, and then you want to take X-Ray Ultimate and drag it from your desktop into your Resource Packs folder just for ease of use. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. Where'd it go? It's not here. What are we, what are we doing? Well, no worries. Click Done, and then click on Resource Packs, and then if you scroll down, there it is, X-Ray Ultimate 1.15. 
Awesome. So go ahead and click the uh, pl or arrow right here. Basically this little arrow pointing to the right. Click on that. It's going to move it over into selected resource packs. Or then you want to click done. And it's going to reload and X-Ray Ultimate is going to install. Now there's no real indication that it's working. So you want to click here and just make sure that that's there. You'll see the real indication once we get in game. But no real way to see from here, right, that X-Ray Ultimate is in fact working. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to open up just a new X-Ray world, for example. You don't have to do this. It's working any existing Minecraft single player world you have, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one just because that's easier. Most of those have been used for mods that I don't have installed right now. So the world's going to be like, what are you doing? This is all weird. So we're going to load right on in here. And then once we've loaded in, we can see that X-Ray is in fact working and we'll be able to see through all the blocks and all that stuff. So as you can see, X-Ray is working. We can mine down here and see the coal, right? Like so. See, there's the coal. And then we can see that we have, you know, right there, we have the uh, the iron. And then even if you want to go like all the way down to the bottom, you will see other ores down here. Now, one thing I will say is if you want to make these ores a bit brighter, right? We do have Optifine. Now, you can see them pretty well here. But you want to come into options, go into video settings. And you want to make sure that smooth lighting is, in fact, off. Because when you turn smooth lighting off, boom, it really opens these things up. Now, there might be some other Optifine settings here that I'm not necessarily sure that are doing. For example, I think maybe if we turn smooth lighting down, I don't know. There could be other ones here. So what I'm going to do is kind of leave all of this up for you so you all can see the, these settings and copy them if you want. I'll also go into quality, see all of those there. And then we can go into like details, see all of those there. Just kind of going through all these and, and showing you what's on. One thing I do have, like know for a fact, animations aren't going to do anything. And then we do have the performance tab and then the other tab as well. But I think pretty much all we want to do is to make sure smooth lighting is in fact off there. And then that smooth lighting level is all the way up because maybe if I turn that down, I don't know, but I think smooth lighting off there, as you can see when it's all maximum, it messes it up, but smooth lighting off and all the way up sounds good there. And now we can see all of this stuff. So we can see ooh, right down there is diamonds. So we can go down and click on some diamonds right over here. Boom. There we go. We've got ourselves two diamonds. We want some more diamonds. Let's just look around. Boom. There's some diamonds up there. There's some diamonds up there. It's kind of sparse, this world, when it comes to diamonds, isn't it? Maybe if we if we crank our render distance up a little bit. Let's see if we can really get some diamonds going here. Come on. This is, we're x-raying after all. Let's, let's, let's cheat, right? Oh, there we go. I saw some over there. I swear there were some diamonds over there. there. We go. You see those diamonds? Oh, there's some diamonds right there. See, boom. We are we are good. But yeah, there you go. That is how you can get X-Ray. It's, it's very simple, very easy. It's, it's not complicated whatsoever to get X-Ray installed. And um, yeah, that's that's that. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, so I said that you didn't need Optifine in this. If you don't have Optifine installed, basically what it's going to look like is this right here, right? So you can still see where the ores are and stuff. You just can't see them as clearly, right? So you can still use this without Optifine, but it's much, much better with Optifine. So we can go ahead and again, turn that smooth lighting to off and boom, they light up like a Christmas tree. Like, wow, that's impressive. So yeah, there y'all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I am more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.